We're back, and yep, you see the triple 300s, right? So you know what that means? We're going on the big hydro, and we're here in Miami. And you guys already know that when I'm at the West Coast, it's really easy. I just go to the backyard, jump on the hopper, and go out in the water. Well, I'm gonna show you what it takes here in Miami to take the hydro sport to the water. And something that I learned living so many years in Miami, don't go into traffic after 3.30 in the afternoon because more likely you're gonna run into the work traffic. And guess what time it is? It's actually 4.30, but the traffic is moving in a pretty good flow, but hopefully I don't run into a gridlock. And in case you don't know the area, we're running on the Palmetto heading east. So we're gonna run into the Golden Glaze Interchange and over there, it gets pretty heavy. But so far, we made it through and we're running on to A1A. And so far so good, it has taken us an hour and 15 minutes just to get here. And we still got about another 20 minutes to go to hit the boat ramp. Well, about an hour and 25 minutes, we got to the boat ramp. Now it's time to throw the big hydro in the water. And if you notice the ramp is pretty empty, it's because it's Monday. And as like you can see, today we got plenty of help. We got Oguita directing traffic and Fresco and Joel gonna help me launch the boat. And I noticed that the king tides are affecting the boat ramp because I noticed on the road it had already green algae growing. That means it's maintaining pretty high all the time. And like always, it's always a pleasure meeting people in person. And really liking his cool setup with a red truck and a red boat, it reminds me when I used to have a 26 foot red twister and a red Chevy truck that I think I already posted it on Instagram and on YouTube's community posts a while back on Throwback Thursday. And here we go guys to show you what it takes to get the big hydro on the water in Miami. So now you can see why I'm starting to do more boating on the West Coast, but I can never leave my hometown behind. Been using the island hopper so much that I completely forgot how good it felt to be on the hydro sport by its size, room, stability, and definitely the comfort. And also, it cruises about the same speed 35 miles an hour. And look at this, I think Miami also has a sleepy mile, at least for them it does. And if you notice while I was talking on the camera, the wind is blowing, I say from 15 to 20 knots out of the northwest. So I don't know what to expect when we go outside. And 
here comes the fun part and a challenge for, for the key to the dock with all this wind blowing. Make sure we don't crash into the dock. I mean, it took a little more work than usual, but he got it in perfect. I mean, that's what we're here for, to give him a helping hand. Because with the icing glass, it makes this boat a giant parachute. And that makes the hydro harder to maneuver with high winds. But we're gonna tie up and go grab ourselves some bait. Wow, look at this. When I went outside, I just noticed we're getting a beautiful sunset one more time. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I see a beautiful sunset, it doesn't matter if I'm land or on water, I have to take a few seconds and admire it because I've seen plenty of sunsets, but I never seen two alike. And talking about seeing, look who we saw here. Dewey showed up. And also a fan of the channel with his beautiful boat taking a late Monday afternoon cruise. Yeah, super nice. And I guess the day is full of surprises. Look what we have here. Sito is coming along with us. Yeah, I saw that. I saw him coming this way. I'm like, where are you going? I'm going to go fishing. Oh, shit. So he took out his Bro. Uh, I don't remember having to. No, when did I have to get this crazy, dog? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, what's up? How you doing, man? Good. Anything? You want to use outside? No, 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 no. It's rough. No, it's, it's a rough. Yeah, rough. You don't have to have it. We're going for Martin. We're going for Martin. <laughs> Well, I tried to get some intel from the conditions outside from Jonathan that he just came in and he said it wasn't that bad. So we're going to continue on our voyage and Doobie's going to follow us behind, but he's just going along for the ride. And if you guys saw my latest video from our fishing expedition here in Miami, Ogita got pretty lucky and she got a nice size coral jack in the morning trip because that day we did two. We went fishing in the morning and also in the afternoon and we hanged out during lunchtime at the sandbar with some boating friends and if you guys didn't saw that video I'm gonna leave a link on the description below so you guys can see it. But now I'm taking a look straight ahead and so far so good I don't see no white caps at the inlet nor out in the ocean. And definitely that's a good sign because you already know that Hallover Inlet could get pretty bumpy on change of tides. But not for us, not today. Smooth sailing all the way through. And now we're gonna start heading north to our fishing spot. Now, here's the thing. If you guys remember, my GPS got stolen, so all my fishing honey holes are gone. So I kind of have to remember more or less by the landmarks and distance off the shore. And talking about off the shore. We decided to open up throttles and clear out the exhaust system. So we hit it up to 55 miles per hour and Doobie was coming right behind. Set anchor and see if we get lucky. And what do you guys think of this beautiful Miami sunset over the skyline? The 
And in case you're wondering, the water seems to be warmer than the air because the water is 80 degrees and the air is about 75. But with the wind, it feels even colder. The good thing is we have the icing glass to block most of the wind. So we're going to throw the chum in the water, rig and bait the fishing rods and start this fishing show. And also, I would like to apologize for the fuzziness on the lens because I guess when we were going fast, the water splashed the lens and I didn't notice it because it was dark and I guess now it's causing a glare. And to our surprise, within 10 minutes or so, we got a big hit. But I wasn't too worried because this rod here is heavy duty and it has a 100 pound test line with a steel leader. Now get the net just to get him off the hook. Okay. Get the net Get the net That's over there. Good job, boy. Where you at, Presto? Where we at, Presto? Right here. Right, scoot over. That's a Viking Where you at? Where you at? Oh! Shark! 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 There we go, yeah, now pull it up. Doing surgery. I think I bent it. Yeah, you bent the hook. Definitely. He has a good grab on it. Alright, so at least we go. I think who's carrying all the fish? It's like right there and I can't get it out. Is he latched on it or is it just stuck? It's just stuck on there. Because the skin is. Because the skin's tough. Yeah. The hook is all bent, Joe. You oh, know, yeah, I'll change the hook. It just look like it falls off easily. You want to touch it? Uh, let me think about it. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, it's hooked on the heart. There he goes. Got him. Woo! Oh, that was hard, I guess. Give him a little kiss. You want to touch it? Touch it. Touch it in the back. Yeah. Feel it. Go like that. It's like sandpaper. Yeah. Excited. I was like, it was you. But you can't catch up. There he goes. Got him on what? Oh, you playing with oh my goodness Big gracious got the little fish. oh and what guess what it is what is grunt. it a grunt she just started fishing and she got a grunt because she's a grunt woman oh she's a grunt woman yeah <laughs> she's a grunt woman she goes so we got lucky because the wind is blowing from the west so, it's so be flat. Yeah. it's flat and the buildings are right there so it's blocking some of the wind too so we got lucky for the night what you got there boy what you got? What you got? What you got there? Oh, a little pokey action. Yeah, that's a nicer. What's up? Catching up. Uh, we got some a couple lean snappers, and keep in mind we do got them over the limit that we're supposed to have them, so they got to be eight inches or more. We got a few of them. Bro, grab the thing. Oh, I'm waiting on it. There it goes. Where is it? It's on? Right here, right here in front of me. Right here. It's an eel. Eel. A eel. Yep. It's an eel. It's a shark again. Another, Another shark? Yeah. Hey, boy. Oh, thank you. Let go. <laughs> oh, got man. to see it. It looked like an eel. Yeah. Oh, look at the neck. Get the neck. Get the neck. Yo, another shark. <laughs> oh, get on. Need the neck. What are you doing? Nothing. You did it. You caught it. Oh, that's funny. Oh, get on. Need the neck. She just got him. That's a that's a smallest shark I ever seen. Yeah, fight up there. Yeah, yeah. Relax. Come down. You going oh. back in the water? Get him, get him. Grab him by the tail. I'm gonna spin around and get my foot, my hand. Nah, man, it's too little. Go. It's too little. Choke That's the smallest death. shark I've ever seen. Choke him to death. Ah, nah, he's throwing back. Oh, so they said you were shark shooting. No, no, it's Jess. So hey, you're right in the water. Yes! Oh, my God! Oh, bro! You're right in the water. Oh, right water. Right water. Going to get it. going to get it. What is that? What is that? Jack. 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 So, good job, good job. High five, guys. Good job. Good job. Show them the hook. Show them the hook you caught it on. Yeah, a little tiny thing. What's the test pass? Woo! All right, guys. So the night fishing show started. 
and it was just like that one after another it has been a long time since we caught so many big fish at once means right what's that mean we're eating ceviche hey 100% and filetes i'll buy you whatever it is that you need to make it i want to learn how where are we eating what are we eating ceviche you know the net's getting a lot of love today let's keep it right yep yeah, no. rock and roll all right guys so it's 9 45 and we decided to call it a night because we have enough fish for everyone and to give some away plus i don't like to be wasteful and i only keep what i know i'm gonna be able to eat and definitely we had a great time i haven't caught this many fish in a while even Oquita caught a big one we had an amazing time and i hope you guys enjoy the video as much as we love doing them and sharing them with you guys and by the way this is thanksgiving week so i would like to give my thanks for the good health to me and my family and the ability to share my experiences throughout the world and definitely wishing for everybody to have great health prosperity and remember to always find time to spend it with your loved ones and we would love to wish you guys a very happy thanksgiving from our family to yours 